Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King book review. Today, we are talking about The Dead Zone. Are you ready to piss off some Stephen King fans? Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, so The Dead Zone. Um, not a big fan of this book or the movie, although I love Christopher Walken and I love stories about psychics. Uh, especially in the Stephen King universe. The issue I have with this book is as follows. The book is never as good as it is in the beginning when Johnny and, what's her name, Susan? I believe there's a lot of Susans in the Stephen King universe. I hope I got that right. Maybe it's a Sarah. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Um, can't be bothered to remember her name. Uh, only reason I remember Johnny Smith is because I mean, John Smith, how much more generic can you get? Uh, also, the uh, the whole plot toward the end, um, and we're going to talk about this, not in depth, but we're going to go into it a little bit. The whole plot with the assassination and everything, it the book just gets worse and worse as it goes along for me. Um, it has nothing to do with the politics, it just, that, that kind of thing bores me to death. It's another reason why I don't like 112263, but we'll get to that in that review. Uh, with this one, you have the opening with the carnival. One of my favorite tropes, sub-genres, sub whatever you want to call it, is uh, amusement parks, carnivals, circuses, all that kind of thing. Um, and then you have Johnny's accident. Um, I'm going to try and keep away from spoilers here, so if you're looking for a spoiler-free review, uh, I'm going to cover the major notes, but not in depth. Uh, the book opens with that, then Johnny has an accident, he goes into a coma and wakes up years later, and has this psychic ability. When he touches people, he sees what's going to happen to them. Very basic premise. Um, the second part of the book is about him helping the police catch a serial killer named Frank Dodd. Now Frank Dodd is important because he is mentioned all throughout the Castle Rock universe. Um, now I believe this is the first Castle Rock book. Not Castle Rock story maybe, but Castle Rock book. If it is the first Castle Rock, let's have, let's have a discussion about that. Um, instead of telling me whether or not you liked the book or hated it or whatever, um, let's have a discussion about what the first Stephen King story is. Um, and then we can debate when we get to Needful Things if that was really the last, we know it's not. But anyways, um, this one, it, it, it gets a little bit interesting in this one for me. And then it just kind of stops completely. Uh, and then it reboots. Uh, Stephen King does this a lot. Has done this a lot in his career. Most recently with The Outsider. Uh, the book changes drastically halfway through the book. Um, Billy Summers, even, his most recent one. Um, the, the book stops halfway through and restarts. Uh, he does this quite often. Um, but in this one, it, it he, he doesn't, the only time I think he's ever really done that type of story well is The Outsider. Um, and not really spoiler alert, but just to let you know, I'm more of a fan of later Stephen King, recent Stephen King, than I am of old Stephen King. Um, I think after his accident, uh, he, he unlocked an achievement or something. He's just gotten really, really good, other than the trilogy of Trash that was published directly after his accident, which was from a Buick 8, Dreamcatcher, and Cell. Those are absolutely terrible. But this one, like I said, it starts off really, really well, and it gets to the Frank Dodd part, and the Frank Dodd part is rather anticlimactic. And then we get to the George Stilson business with all the, uh, you know, Johnny getting ready to to take on this politician who might be about to bring on the end of the world. Uh, I don't like that section at all. It just, the book, again, the book gets worse and worse for me as it goes along. Now, the movie, the only part of the movie I like are the Frank Dodd sections, which is odd, but... Odd, odd. Anyways, but um, I do enjoy that section of the movie. It's kind of like Full Metal Jacket in my eyes because after uh, Go after Gomer Pyle, or Pyle, whatever you want to call him, after you know his story is done, I lose interest. In the movie, after Dodd, after his story is finished, I completely lose interest. Um, it's a rather short book, 400 pages roughly, I believe, um, but. I, I just, 
I don't know what I what I don't like about this one other than it's never as good as it is in the beginning. Um, not that they could have spent the entire book at the carnival or any of that stuff, but um, his rehab none none of the, none of the stuff farther on in the book interests me whatsoever. Now let's talk about something since all of you guys here seem to uh, watch the Stephen King videos. We need to have a discussion. Um, it's it's been brought up time and time again about how especially conservative readers don't like Stephen King anymore because he seems to only write about politics. It's silly. Um, it truly is silly because the man has always written about politics. Ever since his first book, everything he's ever written has some kind of politics. Bad-mouthing Nixon, bad-mouthing Bush, you know, whatever it might be, he bad mouths politicians, yes, especially conservative, because that's that's his side of the fence. Well, that's not his side of the fence. Um, he's he's liberal, and conservatives don't like that about him, especially now that there's such a huge divide. You got the it, it, I'm I'm not going to go into the, the politics or any of that stuff here, but it comes off silly that people constantly complain about him and these are constant readers these are people who supposedly have read all of his books or a great majority of his books people who say that this is one of their favorite books i've gotten numerous comments in other videos about how they can't stand how he writes about politics now it's usually a paragraph or two sometimes it's a little bit more especially when he does have anything better to say like in billy summers there's a lot of trump stuff in there um, but he has always done this. Always. Um, I even make jokes every single time I review a book that, you know, some people are going to be chased away when he does it in every book. I don't understand it. Now, I don't care about the politics in this one. Um, that's my least favorite section of the book. And I'm, I'm wondering. Um, yes, I just called half of you supposedly, uh, half of you silly, but what, what, what I mean, what, I, where, where's the blind spot here? Why do you just completely fail to see or notice that he's always done this? If you want to, uh, if you want to go into detail down there in the comments, I don't want this to turn into a political thing, but I really want to know where this comes from. Either it's new readers coming across Stephen King and only reading the new stuff where he harps on Trump. Um, and still, it's only at, at the most, at the very most, a page worth of content sprinkled throughout the entire book. Um, also, it's the the utter... Uh, what's, the, what's the word here? You, you just ignore uh, everything that, that, that he has done beforehand. Um, because the comment is always, I wish he would go back to not harping on politics. Yet, all these, all these books have some kind of political opinion in them. I don't care which one. In fact, if you want, if you want to bring up a book that doesn't mention politics whatsoever, I would love to hear from you also. Um, as far as the, the rest of the review for this book is, that's all I have to say about this book. Now... I think, I'll, I will add this one thing that I get some flack for. I think Johnny Smith is a very, very weak character. I think he's just as generic as his name. And there isn't a truly strong character in this book at all. Um, there is a decent villain in Frank Dodd. Um, and I much rather would have had an entire book from Frank Dodd's perspective, not about the Frank Dodd case. Whereas it starts at the carnival you had the Frank Dodd, that peters out. Had it been the Carnival and Frank Dodd, I would have been completely happy. Um, but have you read The Dead Zone? You can tell me what you think about it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Stephen King book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!